Welcome back guys, thanks for joining us for another beer review now and we are heading off to a brewery from Shropshire. I was going to call it local but when I searched it on Google Maps it turns out it's like 41 mile away so local is a little bit <laughs> a little bit over the top I think with this one. Uh, and what we've got is a beer from Hobson's Brewing Co and this is a bottle of their Old Prickly Snuffly Hedge Grog and it's coming in at 4.2%, it's actually a pale ale. 4.2% uh, 500ml bottle, my wife picked this up for me from Morrison, she picked five beers up for me, she picked four bottles which come in at a four for six which is one of these and a can as well. Uh, so yeah like I say it's from Hobson's Brewing Co. Now it says on the back here this was originally brewed in 2012 and it was to raise money for hedgehogs. Uh, you know uh, what, the, what they call it here the British Hedge, Hedgehog Preservation Society uh, and I think what does it say da, 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 over the years they've raised raised about 44,000 pounds from selling this beer for that so that's great that's nice nice to see uh, hops in this are Columbus and the Bisky or something so I don't know on the back on the bottle is where it says Golden ale, pale gold, lemon lime floral. Lemon lime floral on the nose, I should say. Uh, taste should be soft, sweet, and fruity. It's two and a half out of five on the bitter ratings, and three out of five, two and a half out of five on the bitter ratings, three out of five on the sweetness. So it's probably going to be slightly more sweeter than it is bitter. Only had a couple of their beers. I like the old label, they keep it simple there. So let's finally get it open. There we go. Let's just show the old bottle cap. I have done many where I've had to show you a bottle cap, but I do like that. That's quite cool. So let's get this open, get it into a glass and see what we get. I've had a couple of their beers before. They're going to be traditional. I'm not expecting big craft sort of thing. I'm expecting a, an old school traditional sort of beer. But hopefully it's going to be good. I've only had a couple of theirs. Uh, can't think what I thought of them. I've also got another one, a porter of theirs to do, so that'll be coming up at some point. So, let's crack on with this anyway. Beer in a glass, pale ale. It's looking sort of golden. There is a slight haze to it. It is pale. We've got a good finger and a half, a quite compact white head on top. Not much carbonation going up the glass, but there is a little bit. This glass doesn't create much, so that doesn't surprise me in the least. So we will give this a swirl and see what we get. I don't know if I said Cleebury Mortimer. They're in, it's in Shropshire, but Cleebury Mortimer, the brewery are based. And I used to visit there on my Super League, not my Super League, uh, yeah, my Super League darts days. There we go. So uh, let's uh, dive in and give it a sniff. There's definitely sort of a zesty lime in there. Malty. Slightly sweet, fruity, floral. You know, I know it's very easy to say that because I've read the bottle, but but yeah, you get that typical sort of pale ale thing. But there's definitely a big sort of zesty lime thing going in on the nose. Smells all right. So without further ado, let's dive in. Give Hobson's Old Prickly Snuffly Hedgehog a try. Cheers. Is there any there? That's it. Hang on. There's a little bit there. Let's, uh, let's chuck the rest in. It's actually a lot of sediment. Actually, I didn't realise it was bottle conditioned. But you can see how much that has hazed up and the amount of uh, cocoa pops that are floating around in there now. Hopefully the old monkey's not going to come out and try and eat his cocoa pops. So, it's more hazy than it was before. It's looking a bit murky now. The head's still the same. Yeah, the aroma's pretty much still the same. So let's dive in, give it a try. Cheers. Okay. It's a good honest beer. Let's let's put it that way. All right, it's a good honest beer, no doubt about it. All right. 
4.2%. Mouth feels quite decent. I can't really argue with that. It, it, well, I say it's quite decent. I've had many beers at a higher ABV that are worse than this. I've had many beers at the same ABV that don't live, the body doesn't live up to anything like this is doing. So it's got a decent body on it. You do get quite a, it's not really heavily carbonated, but there's quite a bit of carbonation in there. And uh, you know, it certainly doesn't tear the inside of your mouth apart, but it's, how can I put it? It's hard to describe it really. It's not low, it's not really high, it's medium. We'll go that way. That's the easiest way to do it. Mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is really nice on it actually, it, and, and until the carbonation sort of kicks in, really soft in the mouth. And then the carbonation does sort of rise and come to life. And it just takes the edge off the mouthfeel. But, but overall body, carbonation, mouthfeel, you know, it ain't bad, it really ain't bad. Taste wise for me, citrus, citrus sort of flavors at the start. You get a little citrus bitterness in there. It's then followed by, I would say, the maltiness coming in behind there is a little bit of sweetness and on the back end for me you get a little bit of that bready feel to it it's a little bit for me I would say that sort of zesty sort of lime orange citrusing in there is a little bit too much for my own personal taste it would probably be nicer being a little bit more subdued, a little bit more in the background. Because although that bottle says it's more sweeter than it is bitter, that zesty sort of bitterness in it, for me, on my palate, seems to take over a little bit. Uh, but overall... As old school beers go, it's not a bad drop. And I'll tell you what, a nice hot day. It's the sort of beer that I could quite easily sit in a beer garden, order myself a meal. You know, I'd even go as far as I could sit down with a nice sandwich and maybe a bit of salad, which is a rare thing. You're not going to see me eat too many salads, so don't, don't get too scared. But yeah, it's that sort of, it's, it, it's nice and light to drink. It is drinkable. And, and it would go really well with something like that, a nice chicken salad or something like that, or a nice chicken dish. Uh, yeah, it's traditional, it's not craft. If all you like is craft, you're probably not gonna enjoy this. If you like your old school traditional beers, for me, Hobson's Old Prickly is, is an honest, easy going, old school sort of pale ale. And it's one of them, like I say, I think there's a time and a place for these beers. Excuse me, a little bit of gas coming up. And I think sitting in a beer garden, having a dinner or a meal on a nice summer's day is the ideal time for it. So uh, yeah, would I drink it again? I'd drink it again. I wouldn't necessarily rush out to buy it, but I would certainly drink it again. It's enjoyable enough. Uh, and that's it really. So they're my thoughts on the old prickly snuffly hedge grog pale ale. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, but give it a try, pick it up if you want to as well. I mean, £1.50 as well. Cheap as chips, so you're never getting ripped off here. Virtually a pint, £1.50. You're not gonna get that, are you? So uh, yeah, like I say, if you've had it before, comment, feel free to. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that malarkey. And I will see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.